So the first thing you need to do is you need to install their new app. There's a lot of apps out there called the Wallpaper Engine, but this is the one you need to install. I'll put a link in the description so you guys can easily find it. Unfortunately, because this is free, they only give you 9 starting wallpapers. That's not to say they aren't bad, but they're definitely not the best. That's why I'm glad to see they included this import from computer option. This means if you do have the paid version on your computer, you can import all your cool wallpapers to your phone. They also give you the option to use a GIF or video to make your own. So now that I've shown you how to get the app, I'm going to be showing you how you move some of those live wallpapers from the desktop version to the mobile version. Please note that as I already mentioned, the desktop version does cost money, but considering it's only $4 and you get all these extra wallpapers and you can use it on your computer and phone, it might be a worthy investment. So now it's time to connect our phone to our PC. To do this, you need to open up the app. Once that loads in, you should see an option for mobile at the top. You want to click on that. Then you want to click on connect a new device and then go over to your phone and click on pair with computer. You'll then select your PC and put in the matching code. After that it will hopefully give you a notification that you've successfully connected. So now it's time to actually send the wallpaper to your phone. To do this you need to select the wallpaper you want to send and then go over to the right hand side and select your phone. Here it will give you a couple of options that you can choose from, either high quality, high performance, or a balance of both. For this example, I will be using balance, but you can choose whatever you want. You'll then have to wait for it to send from your PC to your phone. Luckily, this doesn't take too long. Once that's done, you should be able to select the wallpaper and set it to your phone. You can move it around a little to get it just in the right spot for your selection. Once you've done that, you're good to go. 